Okay, this is Drake the Dragon, human, whatever. Um, highlights for this week. Next week, well, Thursday night, I'll be flying over to uh, Houston, Texas, hopefully, with my fingers crossed, because the stuff that's going on right now is causing an increase of case. On the flip side, I'm trying to keep up to date with my friend Ty to see if there is a lockdown at the airport. I don't know uh, because I chose the biggest airport, LAX, but I get a free flight. So it's one after another. So that would be great to get to uh, Houston and out of LA because I haven't been out of LA since March. I normally go out twice a year for work, but um, work is busy with their price increase because of... Uh, uh, burdens inflation right now. So uh, we've gotten a few things. I think it's at 7%. So I'm holding back on buying. And since gas is high, I do want to take another road trip. So January might be a good time to make it to FC by car. Push comes a shove. I did the mapping to get to Houston by car right now. I'd have to rent three motels. I can do it. It would just have to be, I'd have to pack my car for mobility and just take all my gear and my work-related materials. I can get into this terminal remotely. Even this terminal is kind of shit right now. It's actually not true. It's just some sort of, um, unless any of you guys out there know anything about SSL um, and the certificate manager in Windows 7 and how to fully reset it or a tool to fix it, because I've dumped all the crappy root certificate that was causing it to do funky stuff. It's... My IT guy says, just install a root certificate. And I notice he gets all messed up. I'm going to go back down the road and probably just buy a license cert so I don't have to deal with this mess anymore. But I know how to make it work. So it's a trade off. But that being said, that's the tech side of me because I'm a tech head. And tech heads, uh, we strive for perfection, and Borg perfection is what I love. So, yes, everything will be assimilated. Um, but same time, I do a lot of other things. So updates, con on Friday. I missed uh, Megaplex, but I really shouldn't shoot myself on the foot because no one's even chatting with me. Are you there or whatever? So I don't think, I think my, my time in the furry community is pretty much ended. So we'll see on Stratus for how many people actually show up to my convention. I'm gonna, I just shipped a bunch of stuff that's going to be for free. So... Hopefully that'll draw some attention. Maybe I doubt it. Just three squeaks. Everyone loves three squeaks. So I got to get that little LED sign and bring it with me so I can do the animated character that says free squeaks, free squeaks. Mainly because I know how to do that type of stuff. It doesn't take me that long to do it anyways. But right now a lot of things are doing that. So I'm busy watching some of the paranormal stuff in the background. So I'm trying to get back into it. I do build my own equipment, but most of the equipment was stolen. So now I'm just cleaning up the lab and trying to sort out what stuff has any value, if any, to anyone who might want to tinker and scrap some parts. Um, I'm changing some stuff. So yeah, whatever. Got a few things I need to ship out. I can't ship out really big boxes, so I'm just asking around. And if it comes out to it, I'll try to get that squared away because a box about that size has exceeded my expectation. I don't know why most people don't want to ship big plush. And I'm going the same way because I do like big items, but I want a big house before I do it because that's my property. 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 But I need to make sure the place that I get the house in does, has stand your ground laws instead of uh, castle doctrine. Because I don't want to be hiding in a uh, secure room while I get robbed. So no, I want a castle doctrine. So you step on my property, you're on my, you're under my roof, you're on my rules. So, but down the road I'll probably get some roommates. I don't know when, but I don't think furry is a good choice or anyone who doesn't have a stable job, stable income, job history. Heck, if I even know that person long enough. If you have a small family, I suggest you stare away because I do non-family orientated things. Yeah, that's only because I that's how I prefer to live. So that's my lifestyle. But Either way, I do a lot of things, and being multi-purpose kind of do that. So that's the update. Call next week. This week, I'm finishing up my Drake 2.0 suit. Supposed to be ready for the con, so I'm kind of thrilled to see it. 
but seeing the fact it was rushed together and the last two maker who rushed me pretty much made stuff not even worthy of showing on their own channel i'm so that's the reason why i'm dropping this fandom it's just we went from um being really cool and working together to uh if you're it's it's how do you say it it's some people are doing it straight for the money and i can play that game too and if that's going to be the case then i will shoot for that direction i'd rather do things for a passion but my passion has gone through the roof and maybe it's a good thing i don't have any of my favorite tales uh, my memorable ones i might still start wear some of the new tales i got but they just don't feel the same the weight's different um I might hire some people to make some, but it it's going to be on a tighter budget now. Uh, even the hoodies and the custom stuff, anything above 300 bucks is, might be too much for me at this point, especially if gas is $50, uh, a, a tank up as of actually 60 now, 55 now around there, because it used to be 36. So I'm losing already in a month because I tank about three or four times, four to five sometimes I travel a lot. So I'm looking at losing another 50 to $70 a month on there. So any money counts. So after three months, you pretty much got the difference. So I've already started to terminate all of that. One of the Patreon accounts, I've terminated all of them. One of them I still have active. She's saying she's going to start later on. So I may consider it. I meant to terminate it before the month start, but I'll probably end up doing it at the end of this month. There's really no point. I'm going to shoot her an email and say if she's interested in doing something smaller and say something, a big project and just drop it because I am fairly certain she's just holding my cue. So I've had this with many makers. As soon as I pulled the uh, Patreon, then they immediately get the job done. Like they take a whole year. Like the one I have, I stopped asking me, why did you leave? And I'm like, well, this is not a good year. I did the same thing back in 2000 and. 15 I pretty much dropped a lot of patreons and even when they said how does patreons actually make money because if all the money is supposed to go to the creator and Especially if you pay in credit card, there's a small amount going to the merchants fee So if you do all the math, you're already down a good amount unless patreon itself has its own patreon that people are paying into and putting that pot Because everything at the end of the day costs money the problem is how much is the passion that you have to do something lead you from even having to worry about it. Once you have a passion to do something, money's not, doesn't really care. There are people who are bugging me for toys and yes, they're rare toys, rare dragon toys. And I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to turn them down. I stopped answering to them last week because I just simply want to, don't want to deal with it. And I've seen some people offer even more money online. So I might as well just, Say no, I'm a dragon collector for a reason. But now I notice many dragon things are worth a lot, especially to the Hispanic communities, which is kind of weird because I find like when I first started into this collecting thing, there was Asian people running these business making sculptures and stuff, and then they sell it to the lower market like swap meets. And once swap meets have a whole shelf full of cool stuff, it's cool, but it's like one sells a month for fifty to sixty dollars, and that's about it. At the time, I was buying stuff between $100 and $300, even certain things that I don't even bother, like bronze statues and stuff I have. I don't even know how much something like that would be worth now because of inflation. So with this, that huge problem that we run into. So I may be ditching that, but I will have to have a talk, sit down, because I really don't want to sell. But if someone is offering a good amount, I may have to just take it and move on. Um, so that pretty much ends a lot of my lifestyle changes. I may be dropping a lot of furry related stuffs in the not so distant future. We'll see. I still am waiting for a suit from Taku, but he says he's still working on the other two. And I, I message since at least one of the furs I do and still contact with, I will message him again to see if they got any further, but he said he didn't get as far as he'd like. I says, yeah, well, you're lucky you. You and someone else are lucky because I'm at the very end of the line for some odd reason. So I don't mind being at the end. I just don't like things taking forever anymore. When in the past, those things only took two or three months to complete. So boss hates the same for me. So I may have to just close my doors up to distraction and just start moving to other interests as well. So...
Uh, I don't know if I should be watching this, but uh, yeah, Area 51 is a decoy. That's my opinion. Other thoughts here. Humans are creatures are kill for fun. The only creatures that kill for fun, not to survive. Uh, Jason, the moon aliens have really long neck. Yeah, I'm watching this here. I kind of got out of the chat, but I figured a 10 minute little discussion and vlog of my life updates. Other projects going on. Well, right now, TM Drake Toys is kind of on hold. The hold is temporarily, but uh, I'm hoping after the con boils down, I may have more time. Here's where the stepping stone is. Either A, I continue to make some toys. I'm going to get some quotes to make some more Black Dragon toys. B, I have enough money now to do better R&D. R&D means I go source materials, and like any company, you try to find something better. Now, people want me to make bigger toys. Well, here's what I'd like to do. I don't want to use that thick point four millimeter final. I don't care what you think that it's stronger. Here is the fact. You take a graph, and you measure the cost of shipping. You measure the cost of transport. You go back and forth. If I actually could stick with uh, what... Um, what uh, IW uses, which I think is either 0.1 or 0.2, because you double that, but the size of their toy, which is between three and four meters, the total volume metric it takes up is surprisingly around three to four pounds. The skipper toy was less than three meters, 2.1 to be exact, and the total volume metric took up as close to about six pounds. So if you do the math, I've already exceeded the five pound mark. Now, if I can get the volume small enough, and that's why I need to to do more R&D, I can transport these a lot easier. And I don't even have a warehouse is my problem, whether I have a big warehouse, small warehouse. But my goal right now, and that's my business model, is to at least to get onto the map. If it doesn't work that way, I have a back out plan. And a back out plan, which means I just simply keep my assets and do a massive sell off. And then I'm pretty much done and I go work on to something else. Because the problem here I run into is that if you don't run the numbers, you 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 keep thinking from down there. It's you're going to end up like what I have had in the past. You'll have something that's irreplaceable. So that's why I prefer to have two of everything. A lot of makers don't like to do that. Fine, I really shouldn't be spending lots of money anyway. So custom fursuit, seeing the price tag being between two and ten grand, I'm like. Matter of fact, heart attack because everyone thinks I spend 10 grand to build something like a 3D printer and stuff. No, actually, I think this, this whole 3D printer was like 500 bucks, really, as a scrap kit. And then there was 3D printed parts. So when it comes to costing and stuff like that, I do appreciate the gesture, but I may have to just pull the plug on many things and start doing a mass cheap sale or whatever. I've got a few things I'm going to try to list tonight that hopefully generate some side income for the trip because I still got a few hundred dollars to fucking idiots. Ugh. They have to be super loud every time. This is why I can't even think. So they have to. So I do have some plans to try to mitigate against that. Um, the good news is I'll probably talk to Zorn and see what we can come up with as a partner because. Between him and Rivercoon, there's two projects I do want to launch. Rivercoon wants to launch a game, and I think he could sell that game on Amazon. I got to talk to him on how his LLC is, and maybe just um, provide him some assets for him to build these games because I don't recall the cost of it's between twenty or thirty thousand to launch. So that might be something I can get him going with, and then um, on a on a private loan, fixed rate loan or something. Because he's pretty good, but or I could handle the logistics like I do. Then I don't have to deal with the fixed rate loan. He just gets royalty. And that just makes it 10 times easier. And he holds the rights and everything. And all I have to do is when we're, when we're done, we're done. We just switch over and move on. This way I could build stuff. I just got to find storage space. And as you can see, this office is full. There's already some keyboards I need to get rid of. As soon as those keyboards go, I will probably have enough reuse space now to do more stuff too. So I'm slowly getting rid of stuff, just not as fast as I like it to, and it comes and goes. But anyhow, that's pretty much my, I shouldn't say two cents, my 50 cents to completing a lot of stuff. So if anyone's watching this, it's probably just another 15 minute blog. So 
Firstly, Drake 2 is almost done. Got to work on the electronics tonight. I'm going to try to just focus on that and get the electronics built at least and then start writing some test code just to make the lights glow in the pattern I want. And then I try to do the sync code later. If not, I'll pack the laptop with me and take that on the uh, show. I got a tablet, which I'll load the presentation on, but I'm beginning to think, do I even want to do the uh, tech? I might even just do it as an open panel. So... Um, I don't remember what I sent them, so that's the scary part, but okay. I'm just not as energetic in about doing this stuff right now. Anyhow, night, y'all.